I am really excited because look what I'm doing right now. Try guess what my favorite thing to do is in the whole world and I do it a lot on the vlogs. Baking! Oh, I'm gonna bake some of these cupcakes. Mommy bought me these last night and I've been so excited to do them. Okay, so I am using two packs of these. More cupcakes, more to eat, mm, anyway. Um, some rainbow cupcake cases, some butter unsalted, and eggs. So let's open these up. See what's inside. Oh, it comes with cupcake cases already. I'll keep these in the drawer though so I can use the rainbow ones. And it has the icing mix and the cake mix. Cupcake and obviously the biscuits to go on top. Step number one, put these into here. Now we're putting the sponge mix into the bowl. Okay, so we got this in, now it's time for the eggs. My least favorite part, I hate doing the eggs. Ooh. 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 That was close. Okay, that was pretty good, I got a big bit of shell. I don't trust this egg. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, right, done. Now it's time for, let me see what's next. Um, 45 ml of water, so that shouldn't be too hard. Ooh. And now we mix. Oh wait, I need to add more water because I doubled all the ingredients. Okay, water's in. Now let's mix. Okay, so we've got it in the electric whisker. Ooh. Okay, now I'm going to pour this mix. It smells too good into the cupcake things. Good morning everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. You all right, Isla? Isla's doing a bit of baking. She absolutely loves these little cupcake kits. They're so easy to follow and they're so easy with everything already weighed out and they're just minimal mess. My so ones are the cookie ones. The cookies. Yeah. They are good. <laughs> oh, a little lady, let me set you up somewhere. I think that's the best we can do. That's the best. Are you not liking it back that way? Hey, you wanna face this way and see everybody? Look. Say hi. <coughs> Tell you what she likes. <coughs> no. <laughs> you can't eat my fingers. You wouldn't think we'd just had about 40 minutes feeding, would you? I'm tired. I'm just tired. <coughs> Here we go, look. There we go. There we go. It looks so uncomfortable. Sorry, sweetheart. It smells like baby food. <laughs> oh, oh. It stinks. It stinks like baby food. Um, this is one position she's always comfortable in. But it doesn't look very comfortable. But she always seems to stop crying when she's sat like this. Anyway, the midwives have just left. They came today to weigh her because she's not got back up to her birth weight yet. <laughs> you don't want me to talk. I'm going to go settle her. Then I'll be back. Okay, I think she's a bit tired because she was asleep when the health visitor arrived. And then obviously I had to get her all undressed so they could weigh her. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, yeah, it's because it's not actually butter. It's my, well it is butter. It's fine. Um, but yeah, they came today to weigh her and she weighs, should we tell them how much you weigh now? She weighs seven pound four. Two ounce off of her birth weight. <gasps> oh, come here. There we go. Tap, tap, tap that ninny. Um, she weighs, yeah, so she weighs only two ounce now off of her birth weight, which is really good. And they're coming back on Wednesday to weigh her again. And then I'm pretty confident that she'll have gained the two ounce that she needs. And then we'll be discharged. And you'll be three weeks old, won't you? <laughs> oh, oh dear, here we go. The icing is ready and it tastes so 
<laughs> now we're gonna pop it into the bag and let these cupcakes cool. This is pretty much my life now, guys. And I'm not complaining, not at all. I wouldn't have it any other way. Laying underneath the baby. Perfect. Thought Christmas, so anyway, Christmas presents then. I just realized it's, um, it's, oh God, how cute she is. It's uh, my pretend Christmas boxes from last year. Who remembers that I made those? Hung them up on the wall over there with stockings. No, I hung the stockings on the wall, not the presents. And the presents underneath. I made them with Amazon boxes and I said I was going to re going to reuse them again this year. And I can see us putting them in the skip. Now I'm trying to debate whether it's worth risking waking Aurora up to go outside and tell him off for putting them in the skip and telling him to get them back out. Or if to just leave them. Am I going to reuse them this year? Probably would to be fair. Anyway, whilst me and Aurora are just laying here, snuggling, all curled up fast asleep. Um, Chris is out in the garage doing a big sort out and clear out. And <laughs> I was about to say, Milam and Jason are loving it because he got all the bikes out, all the, um, probably see, all of the bikes and things. Yes? We'll, we'll, we'll go and play outside again soon. Okay, no problem. Um, and they were playing on the bikes and the scooters and the cars and having a great time. We're having a big clear out and we've got two skips. What, darling? They are skips that go recycling, which I love because I thought when you hired a skip, or maybe you do, I'm not sure, just maybe it depends on where you hire it from. But the skip place that we hire from goes through the skip. They don't just like get the skip and pour it into landfill. They go through the skip and take out recycling, which is just great because most of the stuff that we're getting rid of, which is mainly like boxes and things like that, um, can be recycled. So that's really good. Are you okay, Mila? You okay? You gonna go wash your hands? No. Yes, you are. You've been playing out. Go on. Go with JC and wash your hands. Take your coats off first so you don't soak them. Come here. Again. <laughs> Look at them both. I don't like getting warm clothes. Yeah, so take your coat off, roll your sleeves up on your jumper, and then you won't get wet, will you? Come on, coatsy, coatsy off. <laughs> what? Oh. Coatsy, coatsy off. Coatsy, coatsy off. Just finished up with the dinner. Absolutely blooming delicious that was. And I'm about to open an Amazon package or two. I did, oh guys, I've started buying things for Christmas. You know, I don't mean presents. I mean, like, I accidentally fell and ordered a big massive blow up Santa's workshop that Chris is gonna hate. He's gonna hate it. But you know what I thought? He took my bats down at Halloween and he said, you can replace it with whatever you want. I didn't replace it at Halloween, but I am replacing it with Christmas, so. <laughs> If anybody likes blow up um, Christmas decor, like the, uh, when I say blow up, I mean like the ones that come with like fans and they stay blown up, you know, like ginge, our ginge, then get on B&Q because honestly, I saw like so many things on there that was so, ch so much cheaper than anywhere else that I've seen before. For example, an eight foot Santa, eight foot, I think it was like 15 pound something like that. Um, there's some absolute bargains on there. Anyway, I did order myself a advent calendar. I'm being prepared because you know when you've got a newborn baby, you spend a lot of time sat on your own on the sofa, breastfeeding if you choose to breastfeed. And that means a lot of time scrolling <laughs> and buying. So I bought myself an advent calendar and I've got myself a jigsaw one, which I'm very excited about. There was a few different jigsaw ones. One where you make like individual jigsaws each day. But the one I've gone for, you just make one huge jigsaw, but each day you get a section to do. So, oh yes. Wow, that's much bigger than I expected. But that's not arrived yet. But um, I thought I'd just open a few things that have arrived and show you. So 
I ordered this. This is actually much bigger than I expected. I was expecting it to be really teeny tiny. It wasn't very expensive. I can't remember exactly how much now. Probably around £10, I think. Something like that. But I thought this was super duper sweet. Quickly grab it out of the box so I can show you guys it properly. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. So, countdown to Christmas candles. And what you do is, each day... You get out the candle, it just took me about 10 minutes to find the number one. <laughs> and then you pop it in the top. You burn it. Can't, oh, that looks a bit, that doesn't look very stable, does it? Here we go, we might have to put a bit of wax in there first to make sure the candles are secure. But yeah, and then you burn it. Obviously there's 24 candles and I thought that was really nice. I do like a candle, so. And I thought it was a really nice little um, jar as well that I'll be able to use after Christmas as well, even though it does say count down to Christmas. And then I also bought this. This is a little bit more expensive. I think this was almost 20, about 17, 18 pounds, something like that. But I thought it was really lovely and something that Jason Miller and eventually Aurora, well, probably Isla as well, really enjoy doing this. And then eventually Aurora will as well. So basically it's a countdown to Christmas Christmas treats, uh, Melissa and Doug one, and you get baubles, um, these, there is the other baubles down there to fill the whole tree. So you take all these off, you obviously put them in the little tray thing at the bottom, and then each day I guess we'll have the children taking turns, they'll be able to pick one out and pop it on, I don't know if it's, is it magnet? I can't work out, it must be magnet because there's no velcro or anything on that. Yeah, I think um, I did just take this bit out, it actually just popped out because it was already slightly ripped, but um, I'm not going to take the whole thing out because it'll end up just, probably end up getting lost in knowing my luck. But I think there must be, mag I think they, that they must be, I can't literally get my words out, what on earth, I think they must be magnets. And I thought that was a really nice, festive, fun little thing for the children to do, and obviously it's nice and wood, so it will last plenty of years. I've got Jace the same advent calendar that I think it was last year I got him. It was a Thomas the Tank Engine one and even though it's the same I think the trains are different because it's like the 2023 edition. Um, so I got him that just because last year he absolutely loved it. He loves trains. They're really good quality trains. They're like proper metal trains. They're not like cheap versions. Um, loads of you guys recommended it last year, which is why I tried it out and he loved it so much that we've gone for the same one again this year. And then I've got no idea which to get the girls and Mila, uh, the girls should I say. Mila's got a little Dutch wooden one from last year. Obviously she was only one year old last year, so it was mainly like me opening it and getting excited each day. And I think I might just reuse that one for her. It just creates kind of like a Christmas kind of scene um, but I'm not sure on the girls at all this year I thought maybe a crystal one for Isabel because she's kind of into her crystals so I thought maybe something like that for her um, and then I found one for Isla but I can't remember what that one was I thought I did find one I've got it in my Amazon basket I thought oh yeah Isla would like that but I can't remember but no idea for Esme absolutely no clue so comment down below let me know what advent calendar you guys are got this year what you're buying your children or what you've bought yourself and maybe i'll get some ideas on what i could get for esme but and isla as well because i'm not quite sure now what i've added to the basket but um yeah i thought these little family ones would be nice for us all to do together i'll leave links in the description box down below if anybody's interested in these i got them on amazon i'll leave the links down below um but yeah I am now going to get Aurora. She's been asleep for a couple of hours on Chris, so I've had my hands free. I've been able to make dinner. <laughs> it's been really nice. But um, yeah, she's not quite back to her birth weight yet, so we do need to keep feed, 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 feeding. Me and Isla, okay. it is Saturday. That means it's sleepover day. So someone sent us, as you guys saw, okay. these delicious hot chocolate. It's my favorite ever. They're so good. The Maltese are so oh, good. Oh, my God, marshmallows! Imagine if you don't come with marshmallows now. <laughs> you get two. I don't 
three two. Normal two. No, I'll still have them two. I'll have them one. <gasps> just call me marshmallows. That's amazing. Right, so what do we do? We just add hot water, but probably gonna add milk. I like it milky. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't make hot chocolates like English people do. I make it like Americans. Like English people do. It's like old Brits. Old Brits, right? They boil the kettle. They put that in it, and then they just mix it and like maybe add a little bit of milk or something depending on the hot chocolate. Oh, we don't do it like that. Are you crazy? That's why your hot chocolate tastes watery and lumpy. All right. We'll tell you how to make a proper hot chocolate. First, we boil the kettle, and then we go to go to tell us of course. We add the hot chocolate powder in. Got to tell us of cups. I'm just drinking water. I'm having cucumber water. Because I'm having lemon, lemon water actually. Plain water is boring, so I'm going to have cucumber water. I drink about 50 of these full of water a day. I drink 50 of. Addicted. Addicted. Oh my gosh, smell that. Right, now put a little bit of. Right, so once you've got your cup and you've put your hot chocolate powder into it, right? And then you get a little bit, tiny bit of boiled water and put it in and mix it. Just a tiny bit, like literally a tiny bit. Mix it so it's like a Right, we'll show you out. with the hot like, kettle up in yeah. your own kids. Don't uh, you've not even let it finish, love. Yeah, you don't need to. It's already got, it's switched. No, that's enough! Oh, you put way too much on. Right, so I'll put, put, put it up to here. I normally do about up to there, okay? So it's really small. I'm just going to fill my towel. And so then you mix it, it so that all the hot chocolate is dissolved and it's like a paste, okay? And then you get another cup and heat or milk in the microwave. <laughs> and then you add it in. People are going to think we're such weirdos. I thought the camera's ice is really bad. Hang on. There we go. That's a lot better there. So, now you've got your chocolate paste, right? Then you get another cup. You get another cup and then you fill it with milk. Estimate how much you'll need. It doesn't really matter. Estimate your milk. And putting that in the microwave to scald in hot, like kettle water hot. And then just add it in and it's just, um, I promise it'll be the nicest hot chocolate in the world. Give it now, come on in, give it. Come to the in. Oops. Give it a Thanks. I'm singing it all wrong. Milk! Don't shout. Oh, it's really good. Add it. The rule to pour into it is to do it fast. Right, now mix. And isn't it just so pretty to think? All along there was some about so much. invisible string me. me. What? Yeah, I showed a picture party. Would you have me? Would you love me? Would you? I'm gonna flick my hot chocolate on you in a minute. I feel so bad here. Give me this spoon. I need to, I've made a big mess. Would like I've made a really big mess. Like a really big mess. Look, it has to be. It, it, really, 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 really it's like a really thick paste. Yeah, I've made a really, really big mess. Like a really, 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 really big mess. A really, really, really big mess. Right now that we have our paste, mm. we have our nice, thick, goopy. I make a big brownie out of it. I'm sorry, sorry. Next step to making a hot chocolate, you put some cucumber in it. <laughs> Me and I'm joking. It's for the guinea pigs. Yeah. I actually thought she was going to do that then. Me and I have got a song from 1989, Taylor's version. Um, uh, one of her vault tracks in her head. It's that one that's definitely about Harry Styles. Oh, yeah. No definitely. doubt. No doubt. Blue dress. I mean, I was looking forward to style featuring Harry Styles, but. Okay. Yeah, Blue dress. On a boat. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Tilsa Spiford. <laughs> I don't know his name. Tilsa's <laughs> girl. 
I think that's yeah. my favorite. That literally tastes like Disneyland hot chocolate. It's so good. It's at the marshes. Oh yeah. Cheers, guys. Although you don't get two bags of marshmallows, so tomorrow I've got no marshmallows because I'm not sharing that. Mm, you have no joke. You Now we got a scalding hot. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go upstairs, Isla. Cause I can see you.